What's up, fishy friends? Welcome, Tim School of Fishing. Class is in session. I'm excited because today we are going to go way back to ancient times. We're going to go back two whole years and look at a slip joint in my collection that I don't think I've ever done a video on. Today we are going to look at the Rough Rider Reserve Barlow, one of my favorite Rough Rider Reserves, one of the earlier Rough Rider Reserves. So without further ado, let's get this camera turned around and take a closer look. All right, so this is one that I had to get on the secondary market because I just missed out on it when it first came out and I just don't think Rough Rider is producing this one anymore. I do think that Rough Rider should go back and re-release some of those old Rough Rider reserve knives. I do think they would sell them. In fact, I'm not a big fan of the newer Rough Rider reserve knives. I just don't like them. I think they're a little bit weird. Um, I prefer these you know, of course they're modern, but these more traditional Rough Rider reserves. So I do think they should go back and re-release them. But anyway, I had to get this on the secondary market. So it has a little character to it. Uh, you can see here on the box, it has a little cut mark, probably where somebody cut into the box when they were opening the shipping package. It comes in this black uh, rectangular Rough Rider reserve box. It's got the triple R's. It says Rough Rider reserve. On the end of our box here, it says Rough Rider Reserve, and it has the model number RRR017. When you open this box, your Rough Rider Reserve knife is going to come in a pretty nice little black canister here. Triple R's here, Rough Rider Reserve, built by hand and backed for life. When you open the can, your knife is going to come wrapped in this nice cleaning cloth which is a nice added touch for the Rough Rider Reserves and acid-free butcher paper. So let's open this bad boy up and take a look at this knife. All right, so our overall length on this one is 5.38 inches. We've got a two inch blade and a 3.3 inch handle. Our blade here is D2 blade steel. We've got a satin finished spear point blade with a forward swedge and a nail neck pull. I think it's cool because you don't often see a spear point blade on a Barlow, so that makes this one unique. On the tang here, we've got the triple R's and Rough Rider etched on there. On the other side, we've got our model number RRR017 D2 blade steel. And of course, Rough Riders are made in China. Very well done on the edge. Full flat grind here. So this is a nice slicey little slip joint. Action on this one is very good. We've got a nice smooth walk. Good positive jump to the half stop and a nice snap with a nice loud chatty audible talk pull on this one is about a five so just about perfect for most people at the half stop our back spring is perfectly flush well it's not quite perfectly flush tiny little bit of stepping there but that doesn't bother me at all good snap nice and flush at the fully fully open position and like i said great walk and talk on this one. We've got that nice long Barlow bolster on here. What's cool about this one is this one is squared off a little bit. We've got dual threads on here, two threads on this one. This one is satin finished stainless steel. You can see there the threads on that bolster are nice and clean and precise on both sides. We've got these burlap micarta covers on this one that have kind of a medium polish. It's not over polished. It still offers a good amount of grip. We've got nickel silver pins, nickel silver arrowhead shield, no gapping or stepping, no proud pins. The shield is inlaid nicely on both sides. We've got a lanyard hole with a brass uh, insert tube there so fit and finish is exceptional our back spring here is stainless steel we've got brass liners there is no gapping or stepping here 
but it does have a little bit of character right there where it looks like maybe somebody that owned this before dinged it or dropped it but like I said it has a little bit of character doesn't bother me at all I had to get this one on the secondary market blade centering is dead nut center good action good fit and finish gorgeous little slip joint knife here just the right size for a barlow they didn't get too crazy on this one or try to do something weird in the hand it's about a three-fingered knife for me but I have wider hands than most guys if you choke up here on the kick a little bit you can get closer to a nice four finger grip no hot spots no warm spots everything is chamfered down nicely no gapping no stepping a couple little dings on there but that doesn't bother me at all just a great little fifth pocket dropper or backup knife and obviously a beautiful barlow i love that shield i love burlap micarta more and more every day i just love the character and the texture of it i think it looks really cool and this particular burlap is not quite as dark as some that i've seen so i really like it you can see some cool texture and patterning in here so really cool i love this knife i don't think i've ever shared it with you like i said i'm not the biggest fan of the new Rough Rider Reserves. It's been a while since I've bought one and I just kind of don't like the weird designs and stuff that they're doing now and the the crazy weird blade shapes. It's just it's just not for me. I, I wish they would stick to more traditional patterns. Don't forget about the 3K giveaway round number eight. I will pin that to the end screen. Make sure you go and enter that and also don't forget i've got memberships available if you're interested in supporting the channel you can find the link for that in the about section also in the description of this video and i will pin it in a comment of course i always appreciate your support whether it's being a member or just giving my video a thumbs up and leaving me a comment so there you go boys and girls just wanted to share that with you guys today this is the rough rider reserve barlow model number rrr 017 as always i appreciate you for watching give me a thumbs up drop me a comment down in the comment section let me know if you have this one let me know if you have any rough rider reserve knives and let me know what you think about the newer rough rider reserves i'm not really a fan and if you're not subscribed to the channel please consider doing so just click my logo right over there that's it for this episode of tim school fish boys and girls class dismissed